Hey adventurers, welcome to the exciting video from Costa Rica and today we're gonna be exploring some beaches near the town of Kepos Also gonna jump from a small dried out waterfall So let's get into the vlog Alright, so here we are at this small waterfall near our accommodation, which was near Kepos. It was pretty much a private waterfall because there was no other way to here. First, I wanted to climb up with the rocks just by the waterfall, but I thought I saw a snake in one of the cracks. Then I decided to go up with this rope on the left, which wasn't so difficult. After I got to the top, I was thinking it would be great to jump down, but I didn't know how deep the water is, so I went back down, measured, and it was good enough, so I decided to jump down. Here we got a nice view of the surrounding hills and mountains, so there's still quite a lot of forest left. But it's all privatized, surrounded by fences. It's really difficult to go for runs or hikes like you would go in Europe. Alright, and over here we are descending to Playa Macha, the road to which we found on Maps.me application. As you know, most of the little side roads in Costa Rica are off-road, and especially if it's a steep hill and rain season, you will definitely need a 4x4 SUV. Alright, and here I'm flying the drone around these cliffs and little islands, which look pretty epic. But the vibe of the beaches here are much different than beaches in Thailand. There is never many people here and the access to it is much harder. You never see any signs pointing you to the beaches. And also swimming here is pretty different than what I experienced in Thailand. I never went a long time out there. Like I would go in Thailand or Croatia or some other holiday destination. I never saw any people snorkeling here and getting out on the sea was difficult because of bigger waves. And I also didn't want to leave Sanya by herself while I will be swimming. I'm reading many stories how tourists got marked in a broad daylight on many beaches in Costa Rica.
So as I said before, if this place was in Thailand, for example, I would definitely swim around all these half islands and lagoons. It would be a great adventure. But because this is Costa Rica, again, I didn't want to leave Sanya by herself. And also, I never see any swimmers swimming around here or snorkelers. And the public access to many beaches is very difficult. All right, and over here we crossed over to the next beach called Playa La Vaca, which is just on the other side from Playa La Macha. And we're gonna wait for the sunset here. Alright and over here we ordered some vegan takeaway that we brought us on the beach to enjoy the sunset. So I hope you enjoyed today's vlog, stay tuned for more adventures in Costa Rica and as always stay healthy and stay adventurous!